I hate oh. my job! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we thought we were gonna get serious gameplay. No, oh, so this is basic training. A dart does not have the same trajectory as a bullet, so that's, from that type of distance, that's kind of a hard shot to take with a dart gun. Yeah. Took you so long. Oh my god, they gotta make this into a movie. This is definitely an 80s movie. Yeah, well, it's definitely a Hideo Kojima production, that's for sure. What's up, everybody? I'm Israel Wright, former Green Beret out of Fort Lewis, Washington. And what's going on? We're back. My name is Cameron Fath. I'm a former Army Ranger out of 2nd Ranger Battalion, also out of Fort Lewis, Washington. And we are here to watch some serious, very serious gameplay with Metal Gear Solid V, The Phantom Pain. It's like <laughs> he's falling! <laughs> I still don't get the point of the game. <laughs> this time we're actually telling the truth. We actually managed to grab some serious gameplay, right. so you know, no funny business. Yeah. Let's get to it. All right, Snake, make me laugh. <laughs> I mean, don't make me laugh. Damn. Those are cool glasses. Jeffrey eyewear. Thanks for telling us what glasses he's wearing. I mean, that's a good advertisement right there. Those are called glacier glasses. They're used at high altitudes because sunlight reflects off the snow. So that's why it has that little shield right here to keep it from coming underneath. Uh, the purpose to yeah. them. No real virtual screens, holographic screens mm. that pop up in the military. Yeah. It almost looks like a Claymore clacker yeah. in his hand, which is the uh, device he used to activate Claymores. And this is supposed to take place in like 1984 or so. Yeah, it's old fashioned. Mm -hmm. The Soviets have other outposts, not just the one you saw. Yeah, in the 80s, the Russians were trying to take over Afghanistan, and actually we ended up helping the Mujahideen at the time. Mm -hmm. They became the Taliban, and look yeah. what we got himself into. Oh, man! We backed the wrong horse on that one. Yeah. Like it, we got a little bit of camouflage action going yeah, some on. Tiger stripe, that's cool. And it's all like the, I love the web gear. Yeah, and stuff. old fashioned. This, yeah, it's pretty authentic. Vietnam, they would always wear that tiger stripe camo with all that Alice webbing. We actually wore a lot of that stuff in basic training. That you we are an old like man. That. Old school. Old school. We were the last basic training unit to get BDUs. That's no, that's we call damn. That lack of situational awareness, my friend. Exactly. Always watch your six, man. I love it. Stow in the body. Yeah. yeah. All right. Okay. Here, where's yeah, the where's the claymore? Where's the uh, where's the decoy guy? Come on. We're you just gonna leave him there. That's so boring. <laughs> We're expecting something big. We're Come on. You're not gonna blow. Stuff. You're gonna blow him up, and then he's gonna fly to another guy. And which is honestly, that's pretty accurate because there is a military doctrine. It's actually the Special Forces Reconnaissance Manual. You would eliminate a threat, and in the doctrine says like move the body, like uh -huh. pick it up, <laughs> place it out of sight, camouflage it, because right. the purpose of reconnaissance is to remain undetected. Yep. So that's actually pretty accurate. So that's fine. I know Snake, you're trying to be quiet, man, but let's get that gun into your hands. Let's not keep it slung. It's no good not I, in your hands. I don't know. I, I, he's pretty stealthy, more than Sam Fisher would. I yeah. think. Uh, that's what I always loved about the Metal Gear Solid games is that you're rewarded yeah. for not killing people and trying to find creative ways of getting through the objectives without just guns ablazing. Yeah. yeah. Glad there is a serious side. To the <laughs> yeah, game. there is. This is it. This, this is, is it. This is we what we were expecting. Yeah. I mean, it looks a lot like Iraq when I was there. Just old mud huts with low-end technology, yeah. 70s, 80s technology still there today. That technology that he's using doesn't seem like it's old. It's yeah. like the Terminator came back from the future. Right. Told him what's <laughs> going on. Here, take this. You know all the technology we know about today from the government is at least 20 years old. You know, yeah. they declassify it, so who knows? Maybe he did have something like this back then. <laughs> Sleeper hold. Tap out. Tap out. Go to sleep, go to sleep, go to sleep. Fireman carry. We do a lot of fireman carry with yeah. uh, for training and exactly. things like that. If you're dead weight and you're being fireman carried, you're just being a d to the guy carrying you. <laughs> just put your hand in the small of his back, man. And put, put yeah, give me a little support, man, like yeah. a rucksack. Teamwork. Yeah, put him right there. Comfortable spot. Good. Oh, he's Whoa. going for it. Oh, it's oh, it's a sleep oh, there's dart. sleep darts. That's right. A dart does not have the same trajectory as a bullet, so that's from that type of distance. That's kind of a hard shot to take with a dart gun. Yeah. Sneaky, sneaky. Oh, what's that plan? I'm gonna take some of that. <laughs> I'm gonna take it for, to, for later. Oh, oh, my opium lab. He is in Afghanistan, so probably a lot of opium hanging out. We got a little bit in the survival portion of our training about recognizing different plants. Usually they told us, like, if you don't know what it is, just stay away from it. Don't be a hero. Don't get fancy. You know? Don't be eating the berries. Yeah, exactly. I don't know what kind of technology he's using to see through the walls. We don't have anything close to that. 
might have helped a little bit to put an out of order sign on that bathroom so no one goes, you know, in an emergency. Yeah. Some yeah. ready guy to really go out there. MREs, once those kick in, they ain't no stopping you. <laughs> We got a little bit of that experience in SEER training with the uh, bags over the head. The bags over the head, you know, being locked up. Oh, Miller, survive! It's me, survive. Put oh, these glasses man. on. <laughs> I brought them. Get a little bit of dignity back. Yeah, the glasses are the source of his power. What took you so long? Oh my god, they gotta make this into a movie. This is definitely an 80s movie. Yeah, well, it's definitely a Hideo Kojima production, that's for sure. Now I'll carry you out. Oh, he's missing an arm. Makes him lighter. <laughs> Did you go on the subway diet, or did you lose an appendage? <laughs> I wonder where the extraction point is. 313 meters away from this objective. A little close for an extraction. Right. You're gonna yeah. hear the chopper yeah. coming. You're gonna wanna go. Lights in the sand. Yeah. You're gonna wanna be at least a K or a major terrain feature plus away. Cause those choppers are loud. I could kick up a lot of dust, man. Yeah, poor horse. What are they gonna do? <laughs> Bring in a Chinook so the horse can ramp blast onto it. They got a little harness they can put on him. Yeah. Tow him up. One of the funnest things I ever did in the army is riding in the chopper at night. Yeah, dude. Put the nods on. Just memory. sit in the door. Mm -hmm. I always loved to sit in the door. In training, the bird would flare in and we'd see like the opposition start engaging on us and we could just unload from this helicopter and it was super badass. Mm -hmm. Especially the 60s because they didn't have a door gunner. I like how they have the refueling prongs that come off it. Those are cool. Yeah. Those allow the birds to actually refuel in flight. Yeah. Oh, oh he lost a foot. That dude is f***ed up. It's a Fulton recovery device. Oh, the Fulton, the Fulton recovery system. Oh, is that from Batman up? when he's yeah, just like... Yeah, that's, that's a version of that. Have a balloon that goes way up into the air, yeah, and then that plane comes by. Right. I think they did it a couple times, but it never really was uh, widely used. Yeah, what are you doing? What You're on you your doing? base. Friendly, brother. Friendly fire. Eagle, eagle. It's like, this is why I hate working with Snake. <laughs> And that was the last time we saw John Smith. No one really liked him anyway. Why don't you try knocking someone out with CQC next? Boss, show <laughs> I hate oh. my job! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we thought we were gonna get serious gameplay. No, so this is basic training. Private Wright, come over here. We need you to help us out with something. And I thought I had it bad in regiment. <laughs> These, all these guys are new recruits. This is day one for them. It's like these guys went through a two year selection for this. <laughs> Welcome to the team, bitch. Oh, look at that dog up. Oh, the pooch. Oh. I'm a dog. The design of his armor is super cool. It's like futuristic with mixes of like old school in it. Yeah, classic really cool. kind of 80s, Cold War era stuff. Usually if you're working with dogs, that dog would be attached to the handler's right. person. Everywhere the handler goes, that dog is. And it's actually a really important call when you're utilizing the dog and the dog goes off leash. That's a key call that everybody knows will hear over the radio and it'll be like, dog off leash. And everyone's like, okay, here we go. Uh, Damn, he just jumped out of that. Never, yeah, not a it. good idea. Yeah. <laughs> and he's sprinting it out, I love it. Yeah. He's just going for it. I love, I love Snake. He's awesome. Nice shorts, sorry. I wish I could wear shorts, that was the biggest thing. I was like, I just want a nice pair of, you know, multi -cam Camo, yeah, multi shorts. Yeah, multi-cam shorts, not standard issue. No. Damn, he's got quite the loadout right now. Sniper sleeping darts? There's no such thing as a sleeper dart. Look, I see the Zs, they're falling asleep. Unless you have a private that's really into heroin. <laughs> There's a reason why there's a whole profession called anesthesiologists that measure these things. They gotta know all the information about the person. How it's being carried through the body. I don't think if it hit them in the head. I don't know, that's that's all fantasy. That's all but, 18 Delta stuff right yeah, that's, there. I'm not smart enough. Yeah, it's, okay, yeah. moving target, standing Ooh. shot. Excellent, sleeper dart at a thousand yards. Nice. Yeah, snake. Canine attachments, they're such a good asset to have. You could red laze on the ground, just put it on the ground to get its attention, and then I can laze a door like 200 feet away and the dog will take off like a fur torpedo into that room. You can send the dog in if you don't want to risk people, which I mean, it sounds kind of cruel, but these dogs are so trained that they will spark fear into any man that yeah. you know, faces them. Nobody wants to get attacked by a dog, yeah. No. <laughs>
What are some of the names of the yeah. dogs? That are like, yeah, it's like Caesar and Titan. Mako, Bulldozer. Lennox, yeah. uh, Vader was one of them. He was an all-black Belgian Malinois that was attached to Delta. That dog had more kills than, <laughs> than my entire platoon. <laughs> He's sleeping on the job. Take a picture. Oh, hey. say. Hey, wake so up. Cruel. That's how they wake you up for fire guard. <laughs> uh, wake up. Yeah, it's your shift. Oh, there's one. Check your bona fides. Okay, we got you, buddy. Oh, All that right, full recovery get system. Whee! Whoa. He'll be fine. He'll no be fine. need to like give him any padding or anything. I mean, yeah, these guards are just. They don't know. I mean, you got a blazing white dog just <laughs> running across the African yeah, uh, Sahara. Just paralleling the objective. That's <laughs> one thing that you're never supposed to do is just walk sideways on an objective. If you're paralleling the objective, the human eye is actually programmed to pick up lateral movement. Mm. You have to go straight back, do a bold flank, and come at it. So you're always coming at it at a straight angle. So that's why they call it a cloverleaf because you're initially doing this to the objective. Yeah, I always want to use the landscape to mask any sort of movement. Mm -hmm. Terrain is your biggest friend and your biggest enemy because it can create obstacles to your movement, especially on maps. You can't trust maps. I mean, right. it gives you a general idea, but floods happen, humans are changing, right. you know, building roads, building ro yeah. making cuts and fills, you know, and it's, it's constantly changing. So you don't really know what you got until you get on the ground and see it for yourself. That's the glory of recon platoons, is because they can go out, gather intel, and that's when a conventional force will come in after they've received all that information in real time. This guy's injured, obviously, you have a medic on, on a helicopter coming in, ready to render aid, right when yeah, you flight medic. There. Yeah, flight medic. And I will fight tooth and nail saying that ranger medics are the greatest medics in the military. It's a proven <laughs> fact. The whole point is stabilizing until you get to higher care. It's a proven method because we haven't lost a person in regiment due to massive hemorrhaging for multiple decades. And we take real pride in that because of the way we train it. Well, I'm kind of satisfied that, you know, there's actually real aspects of this video game. It's not right. just all an Acme vomit explosion. <laughs> I love the throwback to the kind of the Cold War era, Afghanistan, Russia conflict. Um, yeah, mixing it with new tech and stuff. Yeah, exactly. No, really cool. If you want to see more of this stuff, go to Gameology's Facebook and YouTube page. And if you want to hang out with me more, let's go to twitch.tv slash myhappyself. Also, if you haven't noticed, my man here is wearing an awesome shirt from Kick God Apparel, my brand. If you guys want to check it out, I would really support it. Appreciate it, you guys. We'll see you on the next one. Basic training in your base located near Seychelles. 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 Seychelles off the seashore. Seychelles off the Seychelles. Sally sells Seychelles off the seashore. Off the coast of, eastern coast of Africa. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs>